Hello everybody and welcome back to some Mega Modded Gungeon. We are here again with Never Named, of course. Many Never Named episodes hi. in a row here. Hey, hey babes. Hey, hey babes. babes. And we, we have something special. There's a new character. Hi sisters. <laughs> we have something special. We have the Geneticist, which is a new character made by um, Never Named and... Um, who else made this again? Lin Lincius. Lincius, yes. It's less that I forgot that Lincius made it and more that I forgot how to pronounce Lincius. <laughs> and Fair I was enough. like, I, I just don't want to say it and butcher it. I'm just going to let you say it. Yeah, it's it's been a huge collaborative effort between Lincius and me. I really like uh, Lincius. Yeah, Lincius did um, all of the sprite work for the character and a lot of the sprite work for the mutants we'll see later, though I did some of them as well. Nice. What are the little so yellow we'll dots on his back there? I don't fucking know. I don't know, maybe pens or ass cheeks? I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, this this character looks really good. I really love the Dodger animation. A fantastic job with that. But yeah, this character is, is really, it really is something special. We're not going to take any of the cheaty stuff, we're just going to play him as is. But I, I don't know a lot about this character, but Nevenim basically said, do not play him on your own because you'll play him wrong. Yeah. So, like, uh, Nevenim is here to guide me. I, I feel as though the average player could pick up how to play uh, the geneticist, but I do not feel like you could pick up how to you play basically, the geneticist. You do, not, you do not feel that I am an average player. I, I do not feel that you would be paying enough attention while recording to be able to understand. No, that is very true. I don't pay much attention when I'm playing Gungeon. But this character is really unique. Um, probably one of the more unique characters that we've had. Um, so he's got this really cool little sort of remodel of the uh, of the dart gun and an active here. So let's actually look at his Ammonomicon to start with. Oh, I, I like the feeling on his items. Um, so let's have a look here. Lincius also really likes writing lore, so a lot of the items have big descriptions. I'm going to say I want to read them, yeah. Um, these advanced capsules contain a highly caustic and mutagenic chemical, um, yet each pack is too small to guarantee a lethal dose. To combat this, they have been designed to stick to the body surface of the living and the gun dead alike, building up numbers, uh, building up in numbers before collectively in trans... I don't know how to read that. In intravenously. Intravenously injecting the payload as um, the weapon is reloaded. Okay, so we stick uh, a bunch of things into an enemy and then reload and something happens. Yes. The Gene Driver, a marvel of modern science. After weakening enemies through clinical application of bullets, the Gene Driver can be used to extract part of the creature's genetic code. Collecting enough genetic information allows the user to engineer a monster of their very own, combining the traits of the sample subjects. Please note the Gene um, Driver has not and will not be submitted to the Ethics Board for review. <laughs> nice. And then we've also got the Med Mate, which is our passive. A patent-pending military-grade scanner to remotely monitor and diagnose medical malpractice. That means yeah, if nothing. a description is just if a if a description is just one paragraph, it means that I wrote it. <laughs> and it um, also doesn't see. say at all what that does. <laughs> so, uh, so as 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 I understand it right now from what what I've read here, I stick enemies with these bullets um, and reload to kill them. And I, if, if I've dealt damage to an enemy and used the gene driver, it will extract some DNA from the enemy. Once I've extracted enough DNA from multiple enemies, I can use the active to create my own follower. Yes. Great. Basically. So the his starter gun does half the damage of a normal, normal starter gun, but when you reload, it deals the other yeah. half. Yeah. Okay, that, that's really cool. Really cool. Pretty accurate and fast firing as well. It seems like a very, very good starting weapon. Yeah, it's it it, it can kind of feel weak, but it's not weak. So it how exactly do weak. I extract the DNA then? Because I'm not getting the ability to use my active. Oh, there you go. I've got to get close to them. I see. Yeah. So you make mutants by sampling enemies, but it's better to sample more interesting enemies because they have more interesting DNA. I can only do it once they're at half HP, I see. Uh, it, it's actually a set amount. It's 5 HP or below. Okay. Which means that it's harder to sample stronger enemies. Because you need to be more precise. Which is kind of why his uh, gun does such little yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah. I'm really, really trying to get this chain gunner in. Fuck's sake. Oh, they've synced. It's alright, I got him. I got him. Right, so you've sampled five enemies now. 
So if you yeah. use the gene driver... Let me kill this guy first, I'm not distracted. Okay. And then we can use the gene driver, and it will create whatever the hell this thing is. Oh my lord. So this is the mutant you created. You sampled two bulletkin, which are, are, are dull enemies. They don't have any genetic traits. But it's not just uh, traits that matter. Uh, the attack style, the uh, the attack style, the movement speed, the attack damage, the uh, fire rate, all that is also dependent on what enemies you sample. Teleportation. So, it tells me. It tells me what attack I get. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So you're not guaranteed to get every trait you sample. It tells you what traits the enemy you sampled has. And when you make the mutant, it'll show in green what ones the mutant actually got. Yeah. Okay, nice. So I don't really want to be going after Bulletkin at all. You don't want to go after weak enemies, but Bulletkin are good in really? that Really? I, I couldn't um... get the Keekin. No way. I really wanted no, the Keekin. I, I Bulletkin are, are just kind of boring. You can make a lot of mutants very easily, but they're not going to be very strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, sampling multiple enemies with the same traits makes the mutant more likely to get that trait. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is really, really cool. Like, really in-depth. The, the only, so, my only caveat, and this is only because I am small-brained, is it's a lot of mental overhead to, like, focus on trying to get, get like... get used to it. But, uh, yeah, I was just about to say, that's only because I have a small brain. And it's because it's your first run on the first floor of this character. Oh my god, I haven't had this item in so long, I fucking love this item. Also with this character, nice. it seems strong as hell. So, um, another little quirk that you could uh, try and abuse, I guess, is that if you if you only... Mutants are guaranteed to have at least one trait. So if you have only sampled one trait, one it'll enemy, always yeah, give yeah. that one. One so this trait. one got teleportation. So can it only ever have one trait? No, they can have as many traits as they randomly roll. Ah, oh, okay, okay. And how strong uh, are these things in terms of HP? Because this one seems to be surviving for quite a while. Oh, they can't die. They're permanent. They're permanent? They're permanent, but you can only make five what? in a run. That's crazy. Okay, that's cool. So you have to sort of budget them. Like, do you want to make your five early, or do you want to wait until there's potentially better enemies to sample? Okay, okay. That, I, I was just about to say, what's what's to stop you from just making them all early? But I suppose the whole idea is you want to sample higher level enemies on later floors. Yes. Sampling enemies that have more HP will make the uh, will make the mutant do more damage. Yeah. So that teleportation guy, uh, even though damage isn't a trait, so it didn't pop up above your head. Because you sampled gun nuts to make him, he's going to be doing a lot more damage than the uh, the little blob yeah. guy. What, one kind of interesting thing about this, and I don't know if this is something that you did purposely to balance him or not. Ooh, junklets. Nice one. Um, one thing that is interesting is the more mutant guys you have, the harder it is to sample because they're going to be killing things. Yep, that is an intentional design of the character as well. Like that, once uh, It is inherently self-limiting. Yeah. Cause that, you cause get some absolutely nutty combos. I was going to say, because what, one of the things that I was thinking is, this is kind of overpowered, because um, you can use the sampler to insta-kill things once they're below a certain HP, but because it's 5 HP rather than a half or whatever, makes it a lot more understandable yeah. that it insta-kills them. Yeah, and the med mate is just what's giving enemies health bars. Ah, I see. I didn't, I didn't even think, I didn't even notice that that was like something this character had, I'll be honest. Yeah, I, I considered it to be necessary quality of life for this oh, character. Oh, yeah, yeah, This guy's just teleporting, like, randomly. So did I... He's doing his th best. This guy only getting one trait. Did I get really unlucky, or does early floor enemies have less likely chance of giving you traits? Um, enemies have preset traits depending on what they do. If an enemy doesn't have any traits, it's because I couldn't possibly think of a no, way to No, but I mean, like, I... I, I took five different enemies that all had traits for the teleportation guy, but I only got teleportation. Did I only get teleportation that, because I got unlucky? I think you did get unlucky, yes. Okay, okay. Though, uh, I will say, the traits... You sampled a couple gun nuts, and they have 
a trait called sextuple shot. Yeah, I saw that. And yeah. sextuple shot has a naturally lower weight than other traits because it is it's just so powerful. Yeah, because it's so strong, yeah. Also, I got the Ice Urga head here, which I really like. So, yeah, you might have also noticed that one of your uh, companions is melee and one of them is shooting bullets. Yeah, yeah. Is that um, deterministic that on is, the trait? That is also based on what enemies you use to sample it. Yeah. Okay. Enemies that shoot bullets create mutants that shoot bullets. And because I got a Blobulon in this guy, that's why this guy's melee. Yeah. It's also why uh, he's got the trail. Yeah. Which is a pretty silly and useless trait, but it's there. <laughs> I just think I, I think I just think they're neat. I just think they're neat. Oh, Cubulons have, an, have a couple interesting traits. If you can, kill I, that's them. what I'm thinking now. Yeah. Yes. Radial attack. Radial attack. Oh. And Blobulon trail. Okay. Right. I want this Fingers guy. Fingers crossed for radial attack. And again, Gene is still. Uh, we call him Gene affectionately as a nickname. Um. Yeah. Like uh, Gene is still in development. Yeah, so this is only a bit. Any, this guy hasn't released yet. Anything that's like unbalanced or needs changing. Oh, really? I got that guy and I was like, oh, this guy will be cool. And it's just teleportation again. <laughs> Which makes I sense because they teleport. I try and that guy up, but I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how to code bullet shapes. I really want this guy, but I, I guess I can't get close enough to him. Yeah, I, I understand that. Like, that... Like... This this very much reminds me of um, the gun that Ski made. Do you know the USB drive? Where you like kill enemies and reload and it copies their attacks. Yeah. Yeah. And at, with modded enemies, modded enemies don't have preset traits. So, but they do still count for the uh, other calculations like damage and speed and fire rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I just need to stand next to him and spam my active and some of my guys getting low enough HP. <laughs> oh damn, that guy, that guy was jammed, I didn't realise. Yeah, uh, real baby Self-stun. Self-shunt. Self oh, shunt, I thought it was stun. It means they throw themselves at the enemy. Considering they can't die, I love that. Um, also, uh, there are a couple enemy types that just give different stats that I was unable to determine code-wise. There's only a couple, so it's more like an easter egg than something you should rely on, yeah, but sampling yeah. Rubberkin uh, gives them higher knockback. Ah, nice, nice. That's good. And Sniperkin give higher sh higher shot speed. Yeah. Oh my god, this thing with their triple shot, scatter shot is insane. Scabder shot. I love, I love scatter shot, and it's literally the first time I've had it in like a year. I, I, I just, I never get it. So, another thing that's interesting to note is that these mutants all... I wouldn't oh, sample I really that guy. That. I really wanted him, but... Uh, support enemies are something that hasn't been implemented yet, because I okay. don't know how. That's like, fair. I don't know how to code support mutants. I'd have to upend the entire system I've built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Projectile chain. Right, we've got a new one. R radial attack. Nice. Oh, it's so, the same guy. I, I just want to say, how many variants of these mutants are there? In terms of there what, what you can are, get. Uh, there are a few, and the colours are randomised. Devolver Bullets isn't great, I'll be honest. Devolver Bullets kind of ruins this character a little bit, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, also, mutants can be flying or grounded, depending on, depending on if the things you use to sample them are flying or grounded. Nice. And so there are different sprites for flying versus grounded mutants. Oh, bullet exhaust. Nice. Ah, I wanted that guy, but he blew up. Oh, it's a warm mimic. I'm guessing he doesn't have anything I yet. I don't remember if I gave warm mimics traits. I might have, but I, I wouldn't count on it. What? I got Sasha. That's a weird noise. It's uh, the TF2 gun. It's... No, it's I mean, the, and the noise for the gun is a bit strange. Yeah, that's, it's literally the exact T TF2 sound gun. Like, they just copied the sound huh. from TF2. I mean, fair enough. Death to Bayshore. Who's Bayshore? What did he do to deserve this? I don't know. Okay, so slightly, slightly unlucky so far that I, all my monsters only have one trait, but hey-ho. 
but at the same time, having three companions is oh, good Lord. regardless. What the fuck happened to that guy? He got dragged towards me, apparently. Um, anyways, yeah, it, you did get kind of unlucky, but at the same time, like, you still have three companions who are still adding to your DPS. Yeah, yeah, and no like, we've got, we got, like, the radial attack, which I quite like. We've got three unique ones, they're all different from each other. Yeah. Uh, all the mutant designs have have little names. Um, Cute. so, the, uh, the big fat blob is named Terra Thomas. <laughs> I like that. And that's, that's not like a, I don't know if that's supposed to be a canon thing. I don't know. Link, Link handles the law. <laughs> but, I like uh, it though. I like it. I, uh, I just think it's cute. <laughs> I just think it's cute. I just think they're neat. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and be very selective with this next one and try and get some really cool shit in there. So, I've, so far I've got a bullet shark, which I like the idea of. Um, what can I look for on this next floor? I'd like a, a turtum, whatever they're called. Turtum guys. I think they have radial attacks and a few other traits. Also, yeah, sampling enemies with more traits means more yeah, traits yeah. to more get. Traits to get. Curious if the fire guy is any good, but that's probably just radial attack, right? Uh, radial attack, he also has fire shot. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Certain enemies have thematically appropriate status effects. Debs actually have a few traits. I was just about to say I tried to get the debt and it fucking devolved it. Another wall move, what the hell's going on? Also, wall moves don't have health bars. Oh, they do, they're just underneath them. He's just sat him. on it. He didn't do oh. anything, but I stole him. I mean, he has decent health and decent fire rate, so like... God damn. Wait, did yeah. that reset your number of mutants when you dropped the item? It did. It, it, oh, that's it, a... It, it emptied it, which is actually fine, because no, I like, like, didn't really mean to steal the... Uh, this, this room's fucking crazy, what's going on here? Small I'd say flash. Ouroboros mode is what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Kind of oh, a small cloud is a fun one. I believe the sniper has uh, flak shot as a trait. Flak, yeah. Yeah. And then I want to grab this guy again oh, to have a higher chance of spore shot. I think if you get spore cloud and flak, you'll get a guy with flak spores. Yeah. I don't remember if these guys have tra traits. Well, they're definitely so more traits. More traits is something that we can definitely add over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the highest like, priority they're the, right they're the simplest part. I'm enjoying so the hell out of this so far. There's enough for it to be interesting. I think out of every enemy, Chance Beelons have the most traits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to try and get him, but again, Devolver Bullets screwed me over. I love Devolver Bullets. It's the best item in the game. Ammo, good, good, kind of needed that. I love that you got two Terra Thomases with the exact same colour overlay. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake, I did it again! That's a lot of bullets. Devolve me straight away as soon as I try to grab the guy. Devolve me straight to hell. Herming. Oh. Herming could be interesting. Oh god! So I believe that each trait, each time you sample a trait, it gets a. Oh, hold on, let me let me check the exact code. Hold on, hold on. Where, where's my code? Come to Papa. Where's Come my to code? Papa. Where have all my children gone? Yeah, I'm just opening it up now so I can look at the exact numbers and tell you exactly how it works. So, gee, right Black chest, platinum bullets, hell yeah. Holy shit. Nice. Oh, it's this room. Oh, I got through it, it's fine. That's so cringe, you should have gotten hit and died. Then we could have been here longer. God. I'm scared. Dude, it okay. devolved him again! Fuck! I'm so dropping each... devolver bullets, fuck you. 
each trait has a 25% chance of being present in the final mutant. And uh, if you sample it multiple times, that stacks. So, uh, uh, that, so that's uh, a one in four chance yeah. for each trait that you get. And if you get it multiple times, like you got Spore Cloud twice, so that's a 50% chance of the final mutant having Spore Shot. Nice. Certain traits like uh, Sextuple Shot have reduced weight because they're just so strong, but they're, they're in the minority. Yeah, For most, yeah. it's just a flat 25%. Oh, uh, phaser spiders have web shot. I tried to get him, but my goddamn guys killed him before I could. Self-limiting. Yep. Ah, you bastard. I mean, that one's just on you. Get him! Get him! I'm trying to spam it! Get him to low enough health, you dicks! Oh my god! I think it's because he's a, a bunny champion, he has a shit ton of health. Yeah, he was that he was that mega champion with a crazy amount of health. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, he was doing a little sploinky. My god. Also, I, I am open to suggestions, uh, preferably from modders, because modders know what they're talking about. But <laughs> if anyone has suggestions... What does this do? For other... Uh, it upgrades the tier of all chests uh, on the floor we, by one. We've already... Oh, that would have upgraded this to a rainbow, right? Uh... It has a chance to upgrade black chests to rainbow. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna bother for doing everything that. Now, else it's, for everything else, it's guaranteed. But for black to rainbow, it's just a chance. If I hadn't seen the chest, I would have done it, but I've already seen one of the chests. Not super worth for just upgrading one chest. If you get a room drop chest, it'll also work on that, but only true, after true. it's spawned. Uh, that is a brown chest. I could upgrade that, but for one HP, I'm not gonna bother. I don't even have a key, so not super worthwhile. So what I was saying is, uh, anyone who wants to suggest new traits for enemies that aren't covered by this is, is perfectly welcome. Because I want I want Gene to be as fun as possible. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You, you don't you I don't want that... you don't want that situation where someone goes, "Ooh, this could be really cool," and then nothing happens. Still using your starter. I have to. My guns are fucking terrible. Like the the, the ice ogre head's great, but not for bosses. Dueling list is good when I can use it, and this thing drags enemies towards me, which I just do not want it to ever happen. Bosses are immune to knockback, so might work on bosses. True, true. So, yeah, I was just saying, this is probably the final list of traits for the initial release of the okay, character. Now it's not even firing. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> This is the final list of traits for the initial release of the character, but there's nothing stopping me uh, from adding more traits in future updates. It's just, you have to pick somewhere to stop. Yeah. Soul Lantern got a resprite, apparently. That's cool. Uh, Platinum. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it did. It, did, it definitely uh, you got break a resprite. The chest. Did you break the chest? Did you break the chest? Did you break the chest, little boy? Did you break the chest? You have junklets. That is true. Break the chest, little... Break the chest, child. Break it, child. Junk Break it. Go, go, go. Right. Next oh, one. You know, it's comfortable here in the back seat. Got to get one more enemy into our genetic mix-up. And see how it goes. Now, the question I, is, I, I just... are, the, are the enemies on bullet hell, like, give you, give you some insanely good traits, considering how late you'd have to wait to get them? So, well, I mean, they... Enemies that do more have more traits to give. So since yeah. bullet hell enemies do more, then they just naturally have more traits. Like, um, shot grubs have like multi shots, wiggly bullets, and flak. Nice. That's a teleportation, I'm guessing. I think this guy has uh, homing. Teleporting bullets and homing, yep. We got some good stuff there. Let's spot. We only okay. Spark cloud and flak teleporting bullets. Okay, we got some good stuff there. Spark yeah, cloud, flak, and teleporting bullets. Yeah, flak spores that teleport. Oh, because they all teleport at once. You're having that sound bug again. Yeah, I think I just accidentally sucked up a bullet by instead of the chance beyond. But yeah, now that guy creates a spore cloud whenever he attacks, and the spores have a chance to teleport, and they do fly. Pretty crazy. 
See, this is the power of this character. I just wish that your audio wasn't fucked. My audio is always fucked. I have no idea what's wrong with it. Shellerton gave you triple shot and laser projectiles as a possibility. Nice. Because they can the, shoot the, lasers. What did the bullet give me? Just, uh, a lot, probably, just very low HP. I think I think the bullets have self shunt. So like they throw themselves at the enemy. Yeah, if it's, if anyone can figure out why my audio is so fucked, please let me know because I have no idea. Like yeah, for some reason, when multiple sounds play on the same frame, it amplifies their volume. Like for even though it, it doesn't seem to look at my for anyone else. I don't understand what's wrong with my game. I've uninstalled it since this has happened as well. It's like... If anyone can figure that out, it'd be appreciated. It'd be very nice, because it's very annoying for me. The power of... See, I hadn't even considered... I, I did my best to make... Mm -hmm. What? What is my other mutant? I've only got three. Oh, I had three before. Oh, he might have stuck him. Oh, oh he's, he's stuck there, in the he's wall. there. I got another He'll one of these little tree boys. To you. Yeah, sometimes teleporting mutants can get stuck in walls, and I just don't care enough to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> so it, lazy. It is what it Since is. Since they, they teleport out in, like, the next room anyway, so... Yeah. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, I, I did my best to make the traits uh, combine, so that if you yeah. get spawned, and flak, you get flak spores. Pretty cool, I like that. This is our last, last mutant we can create, so that'd be selective. Yeah. The flak spores. I think it's great. funny. I think it's funny you got uh, the other mutant type is called, just called Red Hole Guy because I wasn't feeling creative at the time. I did the uh, the Red Hole Guy. And uh, Link, Link did Terra Thomas. And I, like uh, I just find it funny that the. Uh, you got two Red Hole guys and two Terra Thomases when there's quite a number of mutants to choose from. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have fucking crazy knockback, which is really making it a lot harder to steal people's traits. Split shot, apparently, I got there. Because I got onto the bullet from it. Fucking yeah. goddamn stupid cares the infestation bullshit. Go away. I don't want you. God damn it. Stupid cares. I mean, to be fair, split shot's not terrible. No, I, I know, but it, I keep sampling things I don't want to sample. That's twice that's happened now. I can't unsample it. <laughs> Unless I dropped my axe, I suppose, but. Yeah. Wait, key. So Jean does have a full suite of unlocks, actually. Yeah, are they already implemented? Yes, they are. Nice. There is Dragon, Bullet Hell, Rat, Advanced Dragon, Boss Rush, and Abby. Nice. And they are some... Some of them are pretty simple, like there's some that just use the gimmick of his starter weapon because yeah, it's yeah. fun and it's easy to easy to make like a full auto version of the starter gun. Um, and then there's some like the centrifuga that took up like a week of yeah, my life. Yeah, I remember saying how crazy that is. Some of the weirdest guns I've ever made and I'm very proud of it. And it was a fucking fantastic idea from Link. <laughs> Oh, re okay, ready on time. Projectile chain, cool. Got a lot of good stuff out of that. Right. Laser projectiles. Oh, for fuck- Oh. I mean, I got a new guy, but I only got laser projectiles. Why am I getting so unlucky? It's a 25% chance for, f like, like, 10 different traits, and I got one. Upsetty spaghetti. I mean, that's the nature of the beast. So now you have used up your gene driver, it has become the spent driver. Which is just a laser and attack. The, uh, it does no damage, but it tells all your mutants to focus the enemy Ooh, you hit with it. Nice. So it's it's not like super amazing, but it's something that you yeah. can use in combat. I just I wanted it to do something when you'd fin when you'd used it up. So now it's to command your mutants. My mutant boys. Um. 
Every five kills on a dock roll. I see. It's pretty neat. Kill him! They're all broken again, what happens? I don't know, it's fucking Kale Pillars. They're one of the stupidest bosses in this game. I have become quite strong. That is... That is what I wanted for this character. I wanted it to be <laughs> like kind of difficult to get good mutants, but it would snowball. Yeah. And just yeah. how much it snowballs depends on uh, how good you are at sampling. Because because five companions is going to be powerful no matter how much damage they deal. Yeah, exactly. And I just sort of try and look at it like that, that to not be disappointed if you get a if you get unlucky with the genetic process, because it literally is a genetic lottery. Um, but uh, to not be unlucky, to not be disappointed if you get unlucky, because either way, that's still an extra source of DPS that you've just made out of nothing. Yeah. You okay there, bud? Sorry, I just have to I type just a message. Yeah, I guess I just have to type a message to someone. But yeah, that's, that's really interesting. I really like the way it's designed. Attack that man. But yeah, definitely gonna have to like have some runs where I wait until later on to make my last minions. Yeah. So unreal. Ah, there was a fucking pot fairy. God damn it. Fuck you. Ah, uh, don't do pot, kids. Don't do pot. You might get a fairy in it. Do pan. <laughs> do pan, not pot. Yeah. I've I haven't seen this guy's I laser attack sauce. yet. Let me, let me watch this guy attack. I I think you rolled a melee companion, and I don't think lasers synergize with melee, but he's still doing good damage. Uh, but I got one trait on him, and he can't even fucking use it. <laughs> yeah, trait synergy is another thing that exists, but I would like there to be more of. Yeah. Because I'm just... It's just hard to conceptualize how you would make a laser melee, I guess. I, I, I definitely think... Oh my god. Um... I definitely think one thing that I'd like to see, just just based on my experience here, which I know is unlucky, if you've like put in so many traits, like if you've got 10 traits in your five enemies you've sucked in, there should be a minimum amount. You shouldn't be able to get one trait out of all of those. There should be a minimum amount of like three or The something. minimum amount or is two. one. It, it, it should be two, I think, if you, depending on how many traits you've got. Because definitely is a little disappointing to suck in all those enemies and only get one of those traits. Which I realize... That's, that's fair feedback, yeah. Which I, I realize I, I would, it would definitely make him stronger. I realize that. But yeah, it definitely is a little bit of a kick in the balls to be like, oh, I got all these cool enemies. And it's like, you got one trait. That might be a, like enough to tide it over until like I add more traits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunlust. What does that do again? I can't remember. Isn't that just Samson? Killing enemy increases damage, uh, taking damage reduces the boost, going to a new floor resets the bonus. Oh, it's kind of like Samson. My grandmother called me Samson today, I feel... <laughs> what? Just because I have long not, hair. It's not even close to your name, though. She, uh, she, just because I have long hair, she was like, oh, okay, Samson. <laughs> yeah, you should get a haircut. No, I don't think I will, Grandma. Ah, what are you, Samson? Is cutting your hair going to take away your power? <laughs> Fuck Yeah, she, uh, she's witty, so... Ah, shit. I find it interesting how those guys exploding just destroyed their final attack. Yeah. Be careful about my HP that I've got at the minute. It's definitely not great. There are, um... Traits for most status effects as well like yeah. sampling fire enemies gives can give fire bullets and then there's trails like sometimes you'll get an effect that isn't like the bullet inflicts fire but the bullet leaves fire yeah you know it and, could be dangerous to yourself yeah but at the same time that's also quite strong 
my god, my minions are doing such a good job. I, I th I, I'm making up justifications now, because I realize what I'm doing. I'm making up justifications because I feel bad that you've not gotten more traits. So I'm trying to justify <laughs> why actually it's fine. Also, you're in an Among Us. Oh, lol, well, I am. Um, no, but I, I think that, like, when I was designing traits, I did a whole lot of them, and then I was just kind of like, I'm sick of this now. I want to work on something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fair. But at least... At least making new traits well, shouldn't be and, and the thing is as well, at least I got one, I've got one minion that's really cool. My others yeah. aren't, like, are interesting, but they aren't amazing because they don't synergize super well, but I've at least got one minion that's got a really interesting synergy. Like, in an ideal world, all the traits would synergize with each other, I'm just not sure how. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. Like maybe laser, like, like maybe if you have laser projectiles on a melee minion, it should produce so, radial lasers when you kill an enemy or something. One one thing that's confusing to me though is why is a is a trait that was given as laser projectiles? Why is that enemy even able to roll as a melee? Because it's random, <laughs> and uh, implementing blocks for that kind of thing. One. Uh, is is sort of just tacitly admitting that I'm not that I'm never going to add synergy, uh, and two, and two is a uh, uh, work. Oh, you bastard! Every time. Oh yeah, they also can't see mimics, which is a bug that I'm too lazy to fix. Table tech split. What? What? Maybe it? Oh, it might make a um. That's not helped me at all. Oh, slide tech. Try sliding over tables. It's not a table tech, it's a slide tech. Oh, it's split. Okay, I, cool. Yeah, it duplicates me. Slide sliding over tables gives you a shadow clone. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm glad I caught that because you wouldn't have. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. word, space, tech, and, and it autofills table. Yep. That's exactly what I did. Can I not make infinite ones? Damn it. Also, um, this coming boss, don't skip the intro. I want you to see his uh, boss card. Link put a lot okay. of work into it, so it'd be a crime. I'm gonna say, yeah. I don't, it's not even like a thing that I consciously do anymore, so it's good that you told me. Yeah, okay, just just don't skip it. Hands off the button that skips yeah. it. Yeah, uh, Link put a shit ton of work into the art for this, and like the character wouldn't exist without him. He, he's humble. He says it's m he says it's my mod, but it's our mod. Ooh, damn! That is really cool. Yeah, baby. Him and his little army. I like it. Don't really need to tell them to attack him, but there you go. God, look at the spores going off every few <laughs> every few seconds. That's my dueling laser. There it is. Oh, also, because fire rate is based on sampling, the fire rate is completely independent of how powerful the mutant actually is. Oh my god. Which is why this guy's able to fire a ton of spores really fast, because you sample high fire rate. Yeah. And that's not a bug, that's a feature. I like that. I like that a lot. Taken out, baby. You have to go to fix your audio issues. Why is you? It's is so bad. Built on a, a computer graveyard. I think it was. My CPU was it's built so on, fucking a, loud. An H, on an ancient burial ground. Nothing works right. The cosmic rays are targeting me in particular. Surely it must happen to other people, but it can't just be me. You're the only one who's reported it. Like, we say it can't just be you, but we both know it could very well just be you. <laughs> Autoclave okay. is a cool one. Autoclave. Uh, all the unlocks were Link's idea, except for one. Nice. So, uh, auto Props and he coming. sprited all of them. Autoclave uh, fires steam. I'm going to say, um, Lince is a really good spriter. 
Yeah, I know. And it, no matter how many times I tell him that, he won't get it through his thick skull now, will he? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Link. For, for the love of God, please. When I say it, I mean it. <laughs> um, but the autoclaver, uh, it fires steam, and if an enemy that it hits has a status effect, it removes that status effect but does bonus damage. Ooh, okay. So you basically fr like you fry the poison off of them. That's pretty cool. What the I fuck is this? I'm just kind of chill out. Yeah. I said platinum in bullets opinion, certainly helps a lot here. Platinum bullets. In my opinion, also. It's okay, in my opinion, if Gene is a little overpowered. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, look at all the like modded characters in Isaac. So many of them are quite overpowered, but that's because they're fun. Yeah, as long as he's overpowered in a way that isn't boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, also as well, if you really wanted to make him not so overpowered, you could just nerf the damage dealt by the followers, the like familiars. That's not that hard to do. Fair. But I feel like that would make him disappointing. <laughs> Yeah, it's initially um, it would. Later on it wouldn't, but initially. May maybe you could do a, like a scaling damage down based on how many followers you have. So you they start I off think, strong. And then like, I you just don't think get too overwhelming. Where he is. But yeah, like it's not a problem. If, uh, that's only if you didn't want him to be overpowered. And I, I think it's absolutely fine to have an overpowered uh, character. And as well, you've got to think about the fact that it's only overpowered towards the end of a run, which is normally where a uh, run is overpowered anyways. Yeah. Uh, also, the reason why we call him Gene, and kind of, uh, just a little insight, is that he is basically just based on, uh, Gene Wilder, the <laughs> actor. Yeah. Nice. Uh, because, uh, Lincius, uh, he's not actually watched Young Frankenstein, but he's a big fan of posting GIFs from Young <laughs> Frankenstein. And, uh, in the Young Frankenstein movie, uh, Gene Wilder. I keep, I keep on going to say Gene Simmons. That's not who it is. It's Gene yeah. Wilder. Um, Gene Wilder uh, plays the titular, titular young Frankenstein. And he just he fits the role of a mad scientist so well. Like That's yeah, why they yeah. got him to play Willy Wonka. Like, like, Willy Wonka is also a fucking madman. Chest. That he is. I know, I'm looking for it now. But yeah, so Link, Link just drew this character based on this, the way that Gene Wilder kind of looks, and we just it sort works. of decided, yeah, let's go with this. This is good. I like this is it. It's a good idea. It took us way longer than it should have to make the character, but that's entirely my fault, because uh, I work slowly. You do not work I'm, I'm slowly. <laughs> well, I work slowly. You, you, I work slowly it, on individual it, things. It, I, it could have said, it's not that you work slowly, it's that you're working on a thousand things at once. Well, I was working slowly on this individual project. Let me self-deprecate. <laughs> um, like, says the man that built basically the entirety of the Gungeon amount of guns in, like, three months. <laughs> I am not a, I'm not a well man. Um... So uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. In addition, the mechanic, the idea of summoning mutants was my idea. And uh, it was my idea, but again, I, like, I feel bad because I know that Link will jump at the opportunity to give me all the credit because he's humble to a fault. <laughs> it was my idea, but we both built on an equal measure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I just, I love it. It's, yeah, it's something it's just, I've wanted such, to do. It's such a fantastic idea. It's something I've wanted to do for a long like, time. This idea would work so well in Isaac as well. If someone made a similar thing in Isaac, it would be great. I mean, you have my blessing, any Isaac modders out there. But then again, you? then again, if you want to use it with Fiend Folio, you've got a whole other beast. <laughs> yeah. Um. But what I was leading up to in saying that is that the idea for making monsters like this 
actually also comes from Young Frankenstein independently of, Link of Lincius. <laughs> really? Before I met Lincius, I watched a stage production of Young Frankenstein, and one of the songs, uh, Join the Family Business, uh, Join the Family, it's called Join the Family Business. And uh, it's about the uh, Frankenstein family business of making monsters. I remember you singing that to me once. Yeah. And uh, that inspired me to want to make something like the Gene Driver. Uh, and I wanted to for a long time before I even met Lincius. And independently of, e of each other, we both decided that we wanted to do something based on Young Frankenstein. Nice. And Weird, I, I just nice. love that that's... I love that that's how fate turned out. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if you look up Young Frankenstein, Join the Family Business, that's the unofficial theme song theme of, this theme of this character. Yeah, yeah we, we've definitely reached a very powerful point with this. That, that one that I got with the fucking teleporting Sporflex, quite amazing. I want to add more traits. I'm, I just need to think of them and also have the energy, which, you know, after, like, after not having to have worked on traits for a while, I think yeah, yeah, you can come back to I that. will have the energy somewhat soon. <laughs> Especially if you get an influx of ideas from people, too. Yeah, because it is, it, I mean, it is a pretty colossal system. Like having to have a dictionary of every enemy in the game. Yeah, with, with and traits. then obviously if you wanted to add mod support as well, it gets even more daunting. Yeah. I love how when you're playing on a Rob Ross levels, it just gets so fucking hectic. It's made the game harder in a really nice way. Is that a Rob Ross or is that the fucking teleporting spore guy? Well, but like it's just making everything so hectic. E baby. Oh, this is this is this has gone phenomenally. Like you yeah, got yeah. semi poor rolls on the mutants, and you're still steamrolling, which is. <laughs> I've, honestly, I've also got an amazing weapons and items. Scatter shot plus platinum bullets is in, is insane. Like such a okay, good Okay, maybe maybe your items had something to do with it, but I think it was the like, mutants. Well, to be fair, the mutants are doing fucking great. I could just leave them to it. But I'm pretty sure mutants, like, and all familiars will benefit from platinum bullets, right? Uh, they might do. I'm not entirely like, sure if I coded that in. Other, uh, other familiars do, so I would imagine they do. But, like, look at the amount of damage also, I'm doing right now. It's crazy. Also, I call them mutants because I'm lazy. I believe the official term that Lincius invented for them is, uh, a gunmination. Ooh, nice. Um, but I'm a lazy prick, so I just call I them definitely, I definitely like my latest one the best, the one that flies, the laser shot one. It's cool. Yeah, that, that one is also drawn by, uh, Lincius. It's called Fleesh Wraith. Whoa. It's like the... Someone pointed out in the last episode I uploaded that, um... How I can be like a great fucking player of this game and clutch a glitch victory in the moment I end up recording with you, my brain tends to mush. But I feel like this is me actually playing reasonably well. <laughs> yeah, because the character is forcing you to engage with the game. Yeah. Much how I happen to focus. I. Also, I'm forced and... to stay awake by the very loud noises. Uh, where's my, yeah, where's my, where's, where's my gun shooting? Why, why is my gun not shooting? Oh no. Is it in I think I, no, I think they're there. They're just invisible. Oh, oh, right, because the lich is a bitch. Lich is uh, it's probably shit, layered. Lich, lich un uh, probably layered under the floor sprite. Um, didn't matter in the end. No. Nah. Um, but this has gone phenomenally. I could not think of a a better first YouTube showcase. Indeed, and we got room bullets. Yes. Oh lord. Room bullets. Boom, there it is. It's but yes, no, there was no issues. There was no glitches. Yep. There was no bugs. No issues. And which is even though you got unlucky, you still had an amazing run. And that's the idea that even if you get unlucky, it's still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, I definitely would like to see that idea I mentioned about, like, having 
a minimum of two. Basically, if the amount of traits that you have entered into your, like, thingy, into whatever you call the active, if the amount of traits that you've entered into it is over a certain amount, the amount of minimum traits should go up. Yeah, that's fair. Like, obviously, I'll if you, consider, only, if you only put five traits in, they shouldn't give you a guarantee of two traits. But if you put ten traits in, then they should thing definitely on the side be of the book? Uh, something to do with my Rob Ross level, I think. I think that, isn't that supposed to be, like, somewhere else? Oh, yeah, like where that eight wait. is. Look, where that eight is. Wait, no, hold on. Hold on. So those, um, if you look to the left of the killed by, there's also something in the margin. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I think something to do with your aspect ratio is fucking those up because I think they're supposed to be next, like on yeah, the page. Yeah, yeah. One of them's hanging Oops. off and one of them's in the margin. But yeah, really good. Oh, run I'm sorry. In general, I'm sorry, buddy. The, the 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 only glitch in this video is is a Roboros. Oof, but it was a very small one, visual only. And yeah, I'm yeah, really I enjoying. Know, I just what, feel bad. I'm really enjoying where the Roboros level is right now, and yeah, I. I Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that character. That is a really unique take on a Gungeon character. It's not, not like anything that exists. And like you said, even though Goal he is achieved. a bit overpowered, he is very fun. And I've only seen a very small portion of what is possible. Like, yeah, you've got a lot of duplicate mutant appearances. The appearances don't do anything, but we sprayed it a bunch because we just thought it would be cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... And obviously the character is going to grow. Are you, you were saying about adding more traits. Are you intending to do that before the full release or are you just going to? Probably going to wait until after the full release to okay. add more traits. I'll do yeah. it in an update. Yeah. Awesome. This has been, been a lot of fun. I don't know why my game's taking so long to load back into the breach, but hey ho. Uh, it's your, it's your game. It's probably, probably because the moons aren't the actual, aligned. The actual run itself was very, very good and worked well, so... But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go and get some food now, but this was this was definitely a lot of fun. I Likewise. hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll have the sprites Take in the care. thumbnail and it'll look really cool. It's gonna be it. Mwah. Mwah. Anyways, kisses, kisses, hugs and kisses. Mwah. Indeed. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.